Swedish krona, the krona, plural, kroner, sign, kr, code, sec, is the official currency of Sweden. Both the ISO code sec and currency sign kr are in common use, the former precedes or follows the value, the latter usually follows it but, especially in the past, it sometimes preceded the value. In English, the currency is sometimes referred to as the Swedish crown, as krona literally means crown in Swedish. The Swedish krona was the ninth most traded currency in the world by value in April 2016. One krona is subdivided into 100 or, singular, plural or or an, where the former is always used after a cardinal number, hence 50 or, but otherwise the latter is often preferred in contemporary speech. However, all or coins have been discontinued as of September 30, 2010. Goods can still be priced in or, but all sums are rounded to the nearest krona when paying with cash. The word or is ultimately derived from the Roman gold coin aureus, which in itself comes from the Latin word aurum, meaning gold. The introduction of the krona, which replaced it par the Rikdaler, was the result of the Scandinavian Monetary Union, which came into effect in 1876 and lasted until the beginning of World War I. The parties to the union were the Scandinavian countries, where the name was krona in Sweden and krona in Denmark and Norway, which in English literally means crown. The three currencies were on the gold standard, with the krona slash krona defined as of a kilogram of pure gold. After dissolution of the Monetary Union in August 1914, Sweden, Denmark, and Norway all decided to keep the names of their respective and now separate currencies. On 11 September 2012, the Riksbank announced a new series of coins with new sizes to replace the 1 and 5 krona coins which arrived in October 2016. The design of the coins follows the theme of singer songwriter Ted Gardestad's song, Sol, Vindok Vaden, English, Sun, Wind and Water, with the designs depicting elements on the reverse side of the coins. This also included the reintroduction of the 2 krona coin. While the current 10 krona coin remained the same. The new coins also have a new portrait of the king in their design. One of the reasons for a new series of coins is to end the use of nickel, for allergy reasons. It is expected that vending machines and parking meters will, to a fairly high degree, stop accepting coins and accept only bank cards or mobile phone payments. Cash is already less used in Sweden, with many young people avoiding cash as much as possible. Between 1873 and 1876, Coins in denominations of 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50 or in 1, 2, 10, and 20 kroner were introduced. The 1, 2 and 5 or were in bronze, the 10, 25, 50 or in 1 krona and 2 krona were in silver, and the 10 and 20 krona were in gold. Gold 5 krona coins were added in 1881. In 1873 the Scandinavian Monetary Union currency was fixed so that 2,480 kroner purchased 1 kilogram of gold. In 2017 the price of gold is 365,289 kroner per kilogram. So one or in 1873 bought as much gold as 1.47 krona in 2017. So if it is reasonable to have the smallest denomination coin 1 krona today, in 1873 a reasonable smallest denomination coin was 1 or. A 10 kronas gold coin weighed 4.4803 grams with 900 finesse so that the fine weight was 4.03327 grams or exactly 1 248th of a kilogram. In 1902, production of gold coins ceased, and was briefly restarted in 1920 and 1925 before ceasing entirely. Due to metal shortages during World War I, iron replaced bronze between 1917 and 1919. Nickel bronze replaced silver in the 10. 25 and 50 or in 1920, with silver returning in 1927. Metal shortages due to World War II again led to changes in the Swedish coinage. Between 1940 and 1947, the nickel bronze 10, 25 and 50 or were again issued. In 1942, iron again replaced bronze, until 1952, and the silver content of the other coins was reduced. In 1962, cupra nickel replaced silver in the 10 or. 25 or and 50 or coin. In 1968, the two kroner switched to cupra nickel and the one krona switched to cupra nickel clad copper, it was replaced entirely by cupra nickel in 1982. Nonetheless, all previous mintages of one and two krona coins are still legal tender, since 1875 and 1876, respectively, though two krona coins are extremely rarely seen in circulation as they have not been issued since 1971. The two krona coins contained 40% silver until 1966, 
which meant they had been for several years worth much more ETH than 2 kroner, so most have been bought and melted down by arbitrageurs, and the rest are kept by collectors. A new design of 2 krona coins will be issued in 2016. In 1954, 1955 and 1971, 5 krona silver coins were produced, with designs similar to contemporary 1 and 2 krona coins. In 1972, a new, smaller 5 krona coin was introduced, struck in cupra nickel clad nickel. The current design has been produced since 1976. 5 krona coins minted since 1954 are legal tender but tend to be kept by collectors for their silver content. In 1971, the 1 and 2 ore, as well as the 2 krona coins ceased production. The size of the 5 ore coin was reduced in 1972. In 1984, Production of the 5 and 25 ore coins came to an end, followed by that of the 10 ore in 1991. In 1991, aluminium brass, Nordic gold, 10 krona coins were introduced. Previous 10 krona coins are not legal tender. Also in 1991, bronze colored 50 ore coins were introduced. Jubilee and commemorative coins have been minted in those since 1897 or later are also legal tender. The royal motto of the monarch is also inscribed on many of the coins. The 5 krona coin was designed in 1974, at a time when there were political efforts to abandon the monarchy, when there was a new young and experienced king. The monarchy remained, but the 5 krona was not given a portrait. Coins minted before 1974 have the same size, but contain the portrait of King Gustav VI Adolf and his royal motto. On 18 December 2008, the Riksbank announced a proposal to phase out the 50 ore, the final ore coin, by 2010. The ore would still remain a subdivision unit for electronic payments. The reason could include low purchasing power, higher production and distribution cost than the value and the coins cannot be used in most parking machines and vending machines. On March 25, 2009, the Riksdag formally decided to enact the law to repeal 50 ore coins as legal tender. Under that law, the final date payments could be made with 50 or coins was September 30, 2010. Remaining 50 or coins could be exchanged at banks until the end of March 2011. In 1874, notes were introduced by the Ricks Bank in denominations of 1 krona and 5, 10, 50, 100 and 1000 kroner. The 1 krona was only initially issued for two years, although it reappeared between 1914 and 1920. In 1939 and 1958, 10,000 krona notes were issued. Production of the 5 kroner note ceased in 1981, although a coin had been issued since 1972. With the introduction of a 10 krona coin in 1991, production of 10 krona notes ceased and a 20 kroner note was introduced. All remaining 1 krona banknotes became invalid after December 31, 1987. All remaining 5 krona and 10 krona banknotes became invalid after December 31, 1998. An exhaustive list of every banknote design since 1874 is not included, but the following five designs were or will be retired in 2016 to 2017. The oldest design began to be printed in 1985. A 20 krona banknote, a new denomination, was printed 1991 to 1995 with a portrait of the writer Selma Lagerlöf, and on the reverse was an engraved interpretation of a passage from the book Nils Holgersson's Wonderful Journey Through Sweden. The banknote became invalid after December 31, 2005. A more secure version with the same portrait was printed from 1997 to 2008 and became invalid after June 30, 2016. A 50 krona banknote, third design since 1896, was printed 1996 to 2003 with a portrait of the singer Jenny Lind and on the reverse was a picture of a silver harp and its tonal range. The banknote became invalid after December 31, 2013. A more secure version with the same portrait was printed from 2006 to 2011 and became invalid after 30 June 2016. A 100 krona banknote, third design since 1898, was printed 1986 to 2000 with a portrait of the botanist Carl von Linné, Linnaeus, and on the reverse was a drawing of a bee pollinating a flower. The banknote became invalid after December 31, 2005. A more secure version with the same portrait was introduced in 2001 and became invalid after 30 June 2017. A 500 krona banknote, a new denomination, in a blue shade was introduced in 1985 with a portrait of King Charles XI and on the reverse an engraving depicts Christopher Polham, the father of Swedish engineering. 
These banknotes became invalid on December 31, 1998. A 500 krona banknote, red, but without foil strips, with the same portrait was printed 1989 to 2000. This banknote became invalid after December 31, 2005. A more secure version with the same portrait was introduced in 2001 and became invalid after June 30, 2017. The banknote had some controversy in 1985 because of the executions of snap veined guerrilla warriors that King Charles XI ordered. The first two designs of 1,000 krona banknotes, printed from 1894 to 1950 and 1952 to 1973 became invalid on December 31, 1987. The third design with portrait of John Jacob Berzelius, printed 1976 to 1988, and declared invalid on December 31, 1998. In preparation for retirement of the 10,000 krona banknotes a new 1,000 krona banknotes, of the fourth design, without foil strips, was printed from 1989 to 1991 with a portrait of Gustav Vesa and on the reverse he harvest picture from Olaus Magnus' description of the northern peoples from 1555. Circulation peaked at over 48 million in 2001. On March 15, 2006, the Riksbank introduced a new, more secure 1,000 krona banknote with the same portrait and the Riksbank became the first central bank in the world to use the security feature of motion, a moving image in the striped band, on the new 1,000 krona banknote. When the banknote is tilted, the picture in the striped band appears to move. The Vesa banknote without security thread became invalid after December 31, 2013 at which time there was only 10 million in circulation. The Vesa banknotes with the security thread became invalid after June 30, 2016 at which time there was under 4 million in circulation. Replacement banknotes featuring Dag Hammarhold became valid on October 1, 2015, but were circulated in considerably fewer quantities, less than 3.5 million, thus reducing the supply of cash in Sweden. The 10,000 krona banknote was always printed in small quantities as it was one of the most valuable banknotes in the world. The first design featuring the head of Mercury was printed in 1939 and became invalid after December 31, 1987. The second design was printed 1958 and featured a portrait of Gustav Adolf, and became invalid after December 31, 1991. On 6 April 2011, the Riksbank announced the names of the persons whose portraits would decorate the new series of banknotes that would be introduced in 2015. This would also include a new 200 krona banknote. These are On 24 April 2012, the Riksbank announced the base for the new designs of the banknotes, based on Joran Osterlund's entry titled Cultural Journey. The first banknotes, the 20, 50, 200, and 1000 krona, were issued on October 1, 2015 with the other two notes the 100 and 500 krona, to follow on 3 October 2016. Opera singer Milena Ernman has criticized the Riksbank for choosing a design where Birgit Nielsen has been depicted performing Die Valkyra by Richard Wagner. She pointed out that it was very inappropriate to include something by Wagner, whose works were associated with Nazi Germany, in a time of increasing problems with anti-Semitism in Sweden. Wagner died long before the Nazi era, and the association is that Hitler liked his music. The Riksbank replied saying that it is unfortunate that choice of design is seen as negative, and stated that it is not going to be changed. Dagens Nyheter journalist Bjorn Wyman went further in his criticism, condemning the Riksbank for selecting Nielsen at all for the 500 krona banknote. He brings up an example from Nielsen's 1995 autobiography, where she described Moritz Rosengarten from Decca using anti Semitic jokes about greed. To see where Swedish krona ranks in most traded currencies, read the article on the foreign exchange market. The exchange rate of the Swedish krona against other currencies has historically been dependent on the monetary policy pursued by Sweden at the time. Since the Swedish banking rescue, a managed float regimen has been upheld. The weakest the krona has been relative to the euro was March 6, 2009, when one euro bought 11.6465 Swedish kroner. The strongest the krona has been relative to the euro was on August 13, 2012 when one euro bought 8.2065 Swedish kroner. The weakness in the euro was due to the crisis in Greece which began in July 2012 and fear of further spreading to Italy and Spain. The average exchange rate since the beginning of 2002 when the euro banknote and coins were issued on March 1, 2017 was SEC 9.2884-year. According to the 1995 Accession Treaty, 
Sweden is required to join the Eurozone and therefore must convert to the Euro once the convergence criteria are met. Notwithstanding this, on September 14, 2003, a consultative Swedish referendum was held on the Euro, in which 56% of voters were opposed to the adoption of the currency, out of an overall turnout of 82.6%. The Swedish government has argued such a course of action is possible since one of the requirements for Eurozone membership is a prior two-year membership of the ERM2. By simply not joining the exchange rate mechanism, the Swedish government is provided a formal loophole avoiding the theoretical requirement of adopting the Euro. Some of Sweden's major parties continue to believe it would be in the national interest to join, but all parties have pledged to abide by the results of the referendum, and none have shown any interest in raising the issue again. There was an agreement among the parties not to discuss the issue before the 2010 general election. In a poll from May 2007, 33.3% were in favor, while 53.8% were against and 13.0% were uncertain. In February 2009, Fredrik Reinfeldt, the Prime Minister of Sweden, stated that a new referendum on the euro issue will not be held until support is gained from the people in all the major parties. Therefore, the timing is now at the discretion of the Social Democrats. He added, the request of Mona Salin, former leader of the Social Democratic Party, for deferral of a new referendum until after the 2010 mandate period should be respected. Support for Swedish membership of the euro among the general population is low. In September 2013, support fell as low as 9%. The only party in the Riksdag that supports Swedish entry in the euro, as of 2015, is the centrist Liberal Party. Sweden is a wealthy country and in the 1970s and 1980s the value of banknotes and coins per capita was one of the highest in the world. In 1991, the largest banknote worth 10,000 kronas that was in circulation since 1958 was declared invalid and no longer was legal tender. For a discussion of the financial and banking crisis that hit Sweden in the early 1990s see the article History of Sweden, 1991 present, and Swedish Banking Rescue. Unlike the USA and Canada which by policy never declare issued money invalid, Sweden and most other European countries have a date when older series of banknotes or older coin designs are invalid and are no longer legal tender. From the years 2001 to 2008 banknotes and coins were circulated at a near constant level of around 12,000 krona per capita, but in 2006 a modified 1,000 krona banknote with a motion security strip was produced. Within seven years the banknotes without the strip were declared invalid, leaving only a radically reduced number of banknotes with foil valid. The Vesa 1000 krona banknote without the foil strip became invalid after 31 December 2013, and the pieces with the foil strip are invalid after June 30, 2016. Also the Swish mobile payment system was established in Sweden in 2012 and become a popular alternative to cash payments. Although many countries are performing larger and larger share of transactions by electronic means, Sweden is unique in that it is also reducing its cash in circulation. According to Bank for International Settlements, the last year Sweden was surpassed in cash on a per capita basis converted to United States dollars by USA in 1993, the euro area in 2003, Australia in 2007, Canada in 2009, United Kingdom and Saudi Arabia in 2013, Korea in 2014 and Russia in 2016. In upcoming years Sweden may be surpassed by Mexico, and Turkey. The tables show the value of the banknotes and coins per capita for participating countries on Committee on Payments and Market Infrastructures, CPMI. Local currency is converted to U.S. dollars using end-of-the-year rates. The circulation levels in the table above were reported to the Bank for International Settlements. Possible discrepancies with these statistics and other sources may be because some sources exclude commemorative banknotes and coins, 3.20% of total for Sweden in 2015, and other sources exclude banknotes and coin held by banks, 2.68% of total for Sweden in 2015, as opposed banknotes and coin in circulation outside banks. Circulation levels of cash on a per capita basis are reduced by 19.5% from the high in 2007 to 2012, and reduced by 50.04% from 2007 to 2016. By comparison in the USA the amount of currency in circulation increased by 85% from 2007 to 2016. The Riksbanken predicted that between 2012 and 2020, the amount of cash in circulation will decline by 20 to 50%.
The prediction may prove to be an understatement as the decline has exceeded 38% from 2012 to 2016. Speculation about Sweden declaring all banknotes and coins invalid at some future date is widespread in the media with Björn Lovais as a celebrity advocate of a cashless Sweden which he believes will result in a safer society because simple robbery will involve stealing goods that must be fenced. The Riks Bank Deposit Rate The deposit rate is the rate of interest banks receive when they deposit funds in their accounts at the Riks Bank overnight and is normally 0.75 percentage points lower than the repo rate. Dropped to 0% on December 18, 2013 only two weeks before the 1,000 krona Vesa banknotes without foil became invalid. The deposit rate went negative on July 9, 2014 and is forecast to remain negative through the fourth quarter of 2018. The suspicion became widespread that the huge reduction in circulation levels of the highest denomination banknote is related to monetary policy. Traditional economic theory holds that people will convert bank accounts into cash without the inducement of earning interest. Cecilia Gingsley has stated that this is a development steered by market forces and not by the authorities. The Riks Bank will continue issuing banknotes and coins as long as there is demand for them in society. It is our statutory duty and we will of course live up to it. The value of the payments between households, companies and authorities in Sweden amounts to about 20,000 kroner annual per capita in cash. In shops, almost one in seven payments is made in cash. More than half of the adult population has the Swish payment app. Annual withdrawals from Swedish ATMs in 2015 amount to 15,300 kroner per capita. According to Skingsley, what some consumers, smaller companies and local clubs often see as a problem, is not so much getting hold of cash, but being able to deposit it in a bank account. To see how circulation of the Swedish krona ranks compared to other currencies see Bank for International Settlements hash red books. The e-krona is a proposed electronic currency to be issued directly by the Riksbank. It is different than the electronic transfers using commercial bank money as central bank money has no nominal credit risk, as it stands for a claim on the central bank, which cannot go bankrupt. The declining use of cash in Sweden is going to be reinforced cyclically. As more and more businesses find they can have a functional business without accepting cash, the number of businesses refusing to accept cash will increase. That will reinforce the need for more and more citizens to get the Swish app which is already used by half the population. Cash machines, which are controlled by a Swedish bank consortium, are being dismantled by the hundreds, especially in rural areas. The Riksbank has not taken a decision on issuing e-krona. First, the Riksbank needs to investigate a number of technical, legal and practical issues. The declining use of cash in Sweden means that this is more of a burning issue for us than for most other central banks. Although it may appear simple at first glance to issue e-krona, this is something entirely new for a central bank and there is no precedent to follow. If the Riksbank chooses to issue e-krona, it is not to replace cash, but to act as a complement to it. The Riksbank will continue issuing banknotes and coins as long as there is demand for them in society. It is our statutory duty and we will of course continue to live up to it, concluded Deputy Governor Cecilia Skingsley. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.